Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is part 43, and there is something in this room that I have missed, and I've just realized it because we only have uh, 12 stray fairies, and the other two stray fairies, I know exactly where they are, and that's in the room near the entrance to the boss room. In fact, it is that room, the one that's in the blank space. Yeah, the last two remaining stray fairies are in that room. But there is another stray fairy that I'm missing because obviously two stray fairies will equal up to the amount of 14, which means that we will be having one remaining. And the last the the, the last stray fairy in one of these rooms that we have to backtrack to is uh this room right here in the main room, uh the one with all the water switching where you can change all the water levels. Uh come to this room right here. I I, th I swear I went up this platform, but I didn't actually kill the spider. But yeah, that's what you meant to do. You meant to kill the uh, skull teller up here. I think I only came up here for the rupees, and then I went back down again to go to the other side without even thinking about having to kill this thing. Because that's exactly what you have to do to get uh, to get a stray fairy. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's this one that I'm missing. Anyway, I haven't missed any others. I know that much. And I'm pretty sure that I didn't get this one, so we'll see. And I was right. <laughs> Alright, so let me get my uh, straight fairy mask, or my great fairy mask out, should I say. And obtain our 13th straight fairy. Where is it? There it is. Right, that's the, that's the man. That's the one. <coughs> right, so we're going to... Damn it. Oh wow, I'm drowning, what the freak? Yeah, because I got stuck under the platform, that's why. Alright, so wait for these elevators to come down and hop on board, and we're going to make way back into the main room. Well, this is the main room, but I mean like the room with all the... where you can change different directions, which takes you all the way around different parts of the dungeon, that room. And I can't believe I... That is the second time in this whole entire dungeon I've done that. What the frick, man? That water spout just doesn't like me. It hates me. <laughs> Ugh. I keep see. Uh, well, my jumping can... Well, oh, never mind. My time precision isn't very good. I can't really blame it on the water spout. I can only blame it on none other than myself. So I'm going to... Get rid of these because these can be a nuisance and I don't really want any distractions so get the hell out of here. You're not wanted. Right in the nose. Man you must have a sore nose after having an arrow shoved up it. <clears throat> but at least it'll clear your nose out of all the boogers that you store inside. <laughs> right so uh... Yeah, the water is changed, which is good. I also had a very huge heart attack moment. I almost panicked. I thought that this laptop actually corrupted because I tried turning it on earlier today. Well, this morning, first thing, as soon as I woke up, uh, or, well, the first thing I usually do when I wake up in the morning is turn on my laptop to check some things on Facebook and check some things on YouTube before I leave for college in the morning. And basically what I did this morning was that I turned on my laptop on turn my laptop on and and I went down the wrong route are you fucking kidding me are you freaking kidding me dude that wow that is the wrong well, you know what screw it I'm gonna cut I'll meet guys back in the main room again with the whirlpool and go down the right route this time what the hell man yeah I'll see you all then and I'll explain what I was trying to explain just now Anyway, see ya. Well, hello there, everybody. We're back. And now we're making way down to the bottom uh, tunnel, which was the original tunnel I was meant to be going in, but in instead I went into the one that was in the middle of the uh, room. Uh, yeah, the completely wrong one, not the one that I was supposed to be going in, but anyway, we have made it. And this is one of the... Well, this is the last room, actually, where we get our last stray fairies. And they're both in the same room, except from the, um... The last one, which I will be getting, is kind of in the room, but it's in... It's not exactly in the room, it's in one of the hallways. But, uh, I'm gonna try and descend on this pipe so I can get a very clear shot on this last... Uh, well, on the 14th stray fairy. Not the last one, damn it. Oh, man, it... <laughs> well, I have taken up so much time, I cannot believe this. Great Bay Temple has been the worst dungeon I've done. 
well, the dungeon that I've done the most bad on, but I was kind of expecting that because, to be honest, I haven't done this dungeon in a long time, and my skills are kind of a bit, uh, on the rough side, so, or on the rusty side. Right, I'm just gonna uh, put my stray fairy mask on and get this, uh, last stray fairy. Well, not the last one, what? I'm still half asleep, I swear to God. <laughs> I've got 14 stray fairies. Hmm, <clears throat> Oh, no, I don't want to go in the water. I want to take that off, so then I can put the Zora mask on. Now, this last stray fairy is a real pain in the butt to get. I'm not kidding. You cannot use your stray... F well, you obviously can't use a great fairy mask because it's underwater as well, so... Uh, yeah, you can't use your stray fairy... Well, actually, you could. I don't know if it will work if I stood on the pipe and used my uh, great fairy mask, and I don't know if it will come to me. I guess I could try that out instead of having to go into the water tunnel and get sucked out because uh, 9 times out of 10 that is what's most likely going to happen. You will miss um, quite a lot of times trying to get that one. I know I did the first time I did this dungeon. I was like, friggin' stupid straight fairy come to me. And uh, it, I eventually got it but it's the longest way of possibly doing it. If there is a shorter way of doing it then and I think the it, uh, using the Great Fairy Mask is obviously the uh, shortest way of doing it if it's allowed. Which I don't think it is. Will it come to me? Uh, oh, it is! Huh! Wow! I actually did that a completely different way this time. But anyway, because uh, usually, I, like I say, I would just go through the tunnel and just try and get it myself manually without having to use any masks. Apart from the Zora Mask, obviously, because you need to use that to breathe underwater. But anyway, we are now pushing the final pump, which will uh, bring out that water spout. And you do need to push all the green switches throughout the whole entire dungeon to actually activate this water spout. Otherwise, uh, this tube right here won't be flowing with water, which means that the uh, water spout won't function properly because there's no um, no water flowing. <laughs> but anyway. I'm not a plumber, so I wouldn't really know about this kind of stuff. <laughs> if you want to talk to someone about plumbing, speak to Mario. He'll explain everything <laughs> a lot better than I could. Alright, so I'm just going to... Wow, this room kind of looks like the room in Bongo Bongo's place, like the Shadow Temple, before you go into Bongo Bongo. Yeah, it's a, it is exactly that same kind of room design. There's a massive hole down the bottom there. Ooh, spooky. And I see two pots as well. Hmm. Well, I can sense some danger, and some serious danger, because this boss, I swear to God, is the hardest boss in the whole game. And also the most, the most frustrating boss as well, so... <laughs> if you're doing this for the first time, be prepared, because I guarantee you'll end up raging like hell. This took me several months to beat the first time I played Majora's Mask, uh, it took me a long time to do it, but it, after many times of uh, trying it and practicing, I eventually did it, obviously, because, you know, the amount of times I've said it, practice makes an expert, and honestly, uh, I do believe in that uh, quote, <laughs> because it has worked plenty of times. Alright, so what you want to do in this room right here, you cannot you here's another bit of trivia that I uh, was supposed to mention or that I wanted to mention, is that you cannot use the ice arrows to make ice platforms in Gaia in the boss room. And I can show you right now that you can't do that. Look. The water does not allow ice platforms. It's just like, no, I ain't taking that shit. I've been frozen all the way out through this whole entire dungeon and now I've had enough. I'm getting revenge on your ass, on your ass by not giving you any uh, platforms to stand on to avoid this beast. But yeah, this is one ugly mother friggin' fish, I tell you. Anyway, we're gonna basically pulverize this thing by using the Zora Mask. I don't think you can actually shoot it twice with arrows, but this is pretty much the only way you can actually attack it. And I'm just gonna... Oh shit, now all you gotta do is try and s swim away so he doesn't eat you, because that is one of his attacks. He can try to swallow you, which does serious amount of damage, and I really didn't want that to happen, but there you go. 
And I was also mentioning before I made the cut that I was talking about my computer. Yes, I was indeed, wasn't I? <laughs> I've just got completely sidetracked. Uh, now about my computer. I Yeah, like I said, I had a heart attack because I thought it corrupted and it wasn't working properly the way it should have. And every time, um, before, every time I wake up before I leave for college, I always go on my laptop to check my Facebook and YouTube. And what I did was turned on my laptop this morning and uh, it came up, you know, it just came up like the usual. It says Windows um, Startup Repair, Startup Repair, or Run Windows Normally. And what I did was click start run windows normally because I didn't think there was like any problems that needed to be fixed by using the launch up start by the by using the startup repair. So I uh, basically used the you know start up normally, and it was loading. The windows was loading. Uh, my operating system was loading, and <coughs> basically. After it does its loading, it says, "Oh, press any key, press any key on your keyboard before the time runs out, because uh, you have like 10 seconds to press the, any uh, key on the keyboard to activate, um, to process, to progress on with the loading, and then it'll come up with the welcome screen." But uh, basically, what happened was it stayed on the first loading screen with wind with the window sign saying windows is starting up and <clears throat> why do I walk back in the water again I do not know get out before you get bitten in the uh, bitten in the ass <laughs> and oh, where is he there he is the little bugger yeah it just stayed on the windows uh, loading screen and what it did was wet as soon as after I waited for about uh, 10 seconds on that loading screen, it came up with a blank screen. It was completely black, and then it came up with this blue screen for like a second, uh, with all these different error codes. And and then after that, the uh, PC restarted again, and I kept on doing it five times. I did it about five times, the same, you know, startup, the start same startup method. But no, nothing worked, and I'm about to die. And I don't have any fairies. Oh shit. Wow, I should have came more prepared. Wow, this is terrible. Uh. Well, I'll meet you guys back in the boss room again, I guess. I'm not gonna make, make the trek all the way back there. Also, I'll meet you back with some fairies as well. You know, to get more prepared. So I don't die. And get some health as well while I'm at it. I only have three hearts. But yeah, I'll um... See you guys back at the boss room. So I'll see you all then. He sent out his little babies, and I got uh, I got three fairies in a bottle, so we're all good. I don't really care if I lose all my health. Go ahead, eat me. Go on, chew on me. Yeah, this is basically just the part that I've just restarted on the boss fight again because I didn't really think I didn't really think uh, there was no point in me showing the whole entire boss battle again just because of one stupid mistake as that. But yeah, uh. It came up on the blue screen for about a few seconds, and I tried it about five times to see if it worked. Uh, it didn't work, <laughs> and then I tried again and again and again. And what I did was uh, do the launch startup repair, and uh, I was on that as well for about an hour, trying to figure out how the hell you worked all that crap out. Because it came up with all this stuff about finding imaging uh, system uh, disk option or something stupid like that. Uh, a system disk image or something uh, so it could uh, repair my system but it didn't find anything so basically what I did after that was click on a different option within the options that they gave you and it came up with a uh, system repair and what I did was click on system repair and waited for about an hour for this uh, well I waited for about half an hour actually it did say it could take up to an hour, but it took about half an hour for it to repair the system. And what it did was, after it repaired, it restarted uh, restarted my computer again, and then I did the same uh, setup by going on Windows uh, Normal Setup. And it worked after that. <laughs> it, it, 
Uh, I, I had a really huge panic attack about that because I mean if my computer really did corrupt there would be no Majora's Mask throughout the whole entire of December I can I could tell you that right now if that was the case I'd have had to postpone Majora's Mask until December which I'm so thankful that I don't have to do that <laughs> and I would have also had to postpone Pokemon as well and I really didn't want to have to do that either because uh, cause I'd miss di I'd miss recording. <laughs> I'd suffer from serious withdrawal symptoms. But anyway, let's get s uh, some magic. I also need some health. I'm kind of low on health, but there is a full heart container up here, which should uh, bring our first heart uh, heart. Well, our first heart on the second row of energy. There we go. And what do we have here? Ooh, a floaty fishy head with a spiky horn on its face. And those teeth look very menacing. But anyway, let us claim our prize and what we have came into this whole entire dungeon for. You've seized Gyorg's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the body of evil Gyorg. <coughs> or Georg, as some people also pronounce it. But I pronounce it Gyorg. I always have done. <laughs> and we're on the giant cucumber again. What is it with these giants? Do they like making cucumber sandwiches? Because, uh, well, actually, I don't really like cucumber that much. I think it tastes really crunchy. And I don't think it really has any taste either to it. <laughs> hey, listen, we want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you are the ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us help our friend I'm not your friendo I'm not your friendo <laughs> well Navi seems overly excited I get it we have to help the last one wherever he may be then promise us this you'll cooperate with us yeah you better you can't just sit back and watch us do all the work you have to help us too we need the power of the giants, man. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times and again merrily watch from my deep slumber. <coughs> but the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished. Link, I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> <coughs> wow, suddenly got myself a sore throat. <laughs> Probably from talking too much. Uh, so in the next episode I'm going to end off here because the last few episodes have been actually relatively long and I think it's nice to actually uh, get a short, relatively short video up as well today. Uh, so I'll leave it off here and continue on the next video. In the next episode we shall be going to get our stray fairy prize and possibly doing some stuff in Great Bay that remains for us to do. Uh, such as the island minigame which you can only do after you've done Great Bay Temple and beat Georg or Gyorg. So I might as well get that done now so then I don't have to do Great Bay Temple again just to fight Gyorg just to get a piece of heart. So I'll do that in the next video too. Uh, is there anything else that I want to do? I'm, I'm not sure. <coughs> well, we'll figure something out when it comes to that time. But anyway guys, I'm going to end off the video. And, well, I've... <laughs> I've already said that, Lewis. So, oh my god, my throat, dude. Oh. Just, god, I, I swear I'm still half asleep. Anyway, I'll see you next time. <laughs> uh, this what the frick, dude? The the what? Did you just see that glitchiness? Anyway, uh, this is NDM <laughs> saying take care, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye. Wow, that was the most awkward ending to an LP, LP episode ever. Jesus.